Well, one of the this is a fine bit of fortune you've come into. Come to Grand Soren with riches in mind, instead find only cravens cowed by dragon fear. The streets are chaos, my goods ruined or lost. I know you. You took up steel and drove the dragon from Cassidus, yes? I heard about that. And of course you know me. I come here now and again to restock my wares. Uh, you do recall me, yes? Madeline, finest peddler in all Grancis? Ravishing beauty of legend and song? Madeline. Well, no matter. I've bigger problems. These are dark days, so terrible as to drive even I to the brink of tears. And yet, just when I need the aid of one both clever and strong, you arrive. Truly, fortune means us to partner together. Don't you agree? <laughs> Only a fool could mistake the thread of destiny what links us. You will be my savior true, and after me, the world entire. And with that, we must be off. I trust you know of the encampment outside the village. I must travel there with all speed, but the wilds are perilous of late. Would you see me there safely? I yet cannot fathom how you drove that terrible worm from the village. That dragon has ill timing for true. I was near to closing several deals in Grand Soren when it struck. You should pursue a future yourself in the capital, you know. One who can face down a dragon would find no shortage of clients. Tis a shame monsters forced the mountain pass what leads there closed. We have the dragon to thank for that as well. I make for the encampment to speak with the guard captain and learn when they will reopen the pass. True, there are other ways to the capital, other paths. But in our final chatter, we should move. Success, and all thanks goes we to are. your Safe fine you work. Are. We'd best be inside, don't you think? Spirited, that woman. This may sound untoward, but have you aught in the way of coin? Please, I must make for the capital, but the times are dark and my purse light. It's a terrible curse being poor. Times are it takes all I have just to keep the tears back. Will you spare some gold? I would repay you, of course. At some point. Most likely. I am so very much in love with you at this moment. A woman's heart is a dangerous creature, but you know well how to tame it. Oft has it been said, a poor life is a happy one. I have never found this to be true. If ever fortune sees you to Grand Soren and me to setting up my shop, you must come visit. I shall even give you a discount. A small one. You'll find not but the finest wares. I'm near certain the pawn guild. How good to see you again. You remember me, yes? Madeline? Yes? <sighs> Just what is this scrap to you? Oh. Uh, loose those lips and might be I repay in kind. Oh. Good work. Bid you good day. Hail arisen, looking dour as ever I see. <laughs> I've a proposal that might put some cheer in those cheeks. Will you hear me? Well, it's like this. A peddler is only as good as her suppliers. For my own part, being both clever and beautiful, I've little trouble keeping an inventory. But contentment leads to failure, so I seek new weaponsmiths to supply my shop. 
I have a certain one in mind, a man of singular talent, but caustic temperament. <laughs> Much as you, in truth. The smith refuses audience with all but select clients. And upon such clients he bestows an idol, so as to prove his favor. If I can recover such a figurine, I would have singular right to peddle his wares in these parts. There is no cost I will not bear to gain this icon. So what say you, Arisen? Will you retrieve an idol for me? This is a job most suited to your talents. I pray you will not fail me in it. Ah, oh, an idol! Wonderful! I was right to trust in you for this. An icon bestowed upon only the most valued customers. It bears a curious look, almost mystical, would you agree? The weaponsmith will see me now, and no delay. What a coup for my humble shop! You've done me a great service, Arisen. I shall plan to repay the favor when next I receive new inventory. Until then, may the Maker guide your steps. The Scrivener, the Black Hat. Here for business? Then you've heard not the news. Madeline's in some trouble of late. She abandoned her shop and fled under cover of night. Madeline will be wanting her dagger returned. Yes, tongues wide with talk of Madeline. Rumor has it she was dealing in illicit goods. Some authority uncovered her game and she was forced to shutter her shop. I hear she fled, too, before the guards had a chance to arrest her. Just what was she up to? I'd like to know. Others must have seen what happened. Perhaps Let's we best ask around. Madeline shop? Sure, everyone knows of it. She bought the place when the first donor fled the dragon. Open for business soon after. She has a fine head for figures. Bit stingy with the credit, if I dare say so. It's odd she closed so sudden like. I'd wager there's more to this tale than we can say. We seek a merchant named Madeline, Arisen. Have you seen her? Damn. This search is but one grand jape. You have my thanks, Arisen. The corner of the capital, we must. I'm discovered at last. You must believe me. I've done nothing wrong. They say I dealt in banned goods. If it's true, I swear it was not my intent. I have no idea. But as I don't expect them to take me at my word, I was forced into hiding. I fled in such haste, all my goods were left behind. More's the pity, I suppose. Wish I'd thought to secure my dagger. It's a kind of charm what brings good fortune, you see. Maker's breath! That's... that's my dagger! Oh, you beautiful thing! I can hardly believe it! I could just kiss you. I have not the words to thank you. It's been at my side ere I started my trade, many moons ago. But then, I've greater concerns at the moment. I've never seen trouble the likes of this. Even now, I feel the tears welling. It took all of my will, and every last bit of gold, to see that shop opened. And now, if you hadn't found me, I don't know what I'd do. Huh? No! Soldiers! I arisen. Well met. We pursue a female merchant named Madeline. She is charged by his grace with trafficking in those queer medallions. As a symbol of salvation, the sale of such is blasphemy and treason both. We mean to arrest her and uncover the girl's connection to the zealot's leadership. We believe she is in hiding near here. Have you seen aught that might aid us? No. We have reports she fled here. There she is! 
Don't let her escape! Forgive me, sir. Duty calls. You... you saved me. Thank you. As a reason, I suspect lying does not come easy. I'm sorry to have asked it of you. I can tarry no longer. I must seek safety somewhere further off. I'm at peace with the loss of my shop and merchandise. Such things can be replaced. But parting from you is a blow far more cruel. What? I speak from the heart! It shames me to ask for more, when you have given me so much. Yet, might you spare some gold for my travels? My hasty departure left me without a single coin to my name. If all goes well, I shall pay you back in full. Most likely. Eventually. <laughs> Thank you. You show such kindness to this foolish girl. And I... I love you. Once I'm safely away, I will establish a new shop in whatever place my travels take me. And when my purse jingles once again, I shall track you down and repay my debt. Truly. Well, I must be off. I must say, before leaving Cassidus with you, my life was utterly hopeless. But see how far I've come. I even had a shop of my own. If only for a moment, I can take pride in that. And as this adventure failed to kill me, perhaps I may even learn aught from it. Or not. I know not what fortune holds for you, Arisen, but I trust it will be terrifically exciting. Please don't die. Promise me you'll come see me in my next shop. Farewell, Arisen. What is your purpose here, Arisen? If you sought to live, you had naught but run and hide yourself away. But then, tell me, child of man, what does it mean to live in truth? To wage war against the passing of days? To pray to the unseen for a few breaths more. To raise grand cities from stone and spawn new life in turn. Mankind has done this, yes, and more. But is the tapestry you need truly of your own design? Land in peace, as my vanquisher, 
the duchy would bow to you. Wealth and power are sweet anodyne for heartache. You'll not gainsay my terms are more than generous. If it matters aught, the man who rules this land now won that honor through just such a bargain. The decision is yours, Arisen. Now, choose. me then. Ah, tis a fool's choice arisen. But better fool than craven. I knew your mind ere you came. Still, I ask this final time. Arisen, will you stand and fight? Your choice is made, Arisen. As you have willed it, so shall it be. My end when the dragon took me. Truly I did. But just when hope was lost, you risked all to rescue me. I've no doubt it was the fates at work. When first we met here in this village, I was desperate, eh? Oh, I wore a proud face, but I was at my tether's end, and no mistake. Thanks to the worm, near all the goods I planned to sell were lost. If 
not for you, I'd most like been forced to sell even myself. Doubtless such a life would have led me to an early grave. From the first moment we spoke, I knew I could rely on you. And with your support, I found the strength to give it all another go-round. You saved us all from the dragon's wrath. Call it fate or fortune or destiny. We're the two of us here for a reason, you and I. Perhaps we're to spend the rest of our days together. Oh, spare me that look. I say that with all my heart. Truly, you'll find naught but the finest wares here. You... You met with the dragon. And don't think for a minute. I don't know what you did then. I... I of all men. No human hands could fell that beast! No. You took the dragon's bargain! You conspired with it to wither me and usurp my seat as Duke! But you'll not be quit of me so easily! This brigand has joined a, a covenant with the dragon and struck me with a curse! He will tell you the beast is dead. Wise! He has become its minion. Spreading evil upon this land as upon its ruler! <coughs> Just look! <coughs> upon the hellish wall that gapes where once our city stood! And tell me, this is not the work of the dragon's dark magic? <coughs> Seize this traitor! At once! Staring back from this world's utmost depth. Defeat me, 
and take my place as keeper of this world. You saw it awaiting you at the end of your descent. Aye, the same world you've traveled to arrive at this place. A world you may well now inherit. It is a simple proposition, no different than any you've faced. You need only the will to claim what is offered you. The will to survive. You are close now. So very close to me. Come, brothers. I shall meet you on your own terms, joined by my own companions of all. Stand now at its end, Arisen. See your journey through. Arisen, forgive me. All I've done is to test your will. It is the fate of all Arisen. You and I are swept up in the current, same as the rest. Each tempers the volition of the next, and the endless cycle continues. And so, until the coming of a new soul fit to craft the will to live, someone like you. Until that day, may you guide the world ever justly. Present you with the God's Bane Blade. Those who arise to oversee this world are undying, save by this brand's kiss. I ask that you, as the world's new solution, use it now. Vouchsafe freedom to your weary servant. <laughs> Mourn me not, for I welcome the release. At long last, I am free of eternity, of infinity, free of the cruel, unending ring.
it over? I don't know what you were wrapped up in, but it must have been something grand. And the world's a different place for it. Though I'm sure we'll still manage brilliantly, you and I.